Okay, I'm gonna do a video of my um, used boat I just bought not too long ago. Uh, it's a 1980 Cape Dory 25. Uh, it's the one where they have the three opening ports on each side. Uh, it draws uh, three feet um, and it's a modified full keel with the uh, rudder attached to the keel to protect it. Um, it's got a um, it's an outboard motor with a well, uh, the well, so the motor will pop out here. Um, I don't have a motor yet, I'm getting an electric motor for that. And the lead, it's 1,700 pounds of lead um, that's in the in this area of the boat. Um, that's the, uh, keep saying, um, anyways, it's, uh, there we go again. So it's 4,000 pounds, the boat, total weight. And a few things I need to do with it. Obviously, it's uh, since the 1980. This thing is going to need a little bit of work. It's got excessive uh, layers of paint that's actually flaking off. It's got excessive paint on it, uh, bottom paint, which needs to be sanded down. Um, a little scrape, a little sanding. Uh, this right here is a depth sander, and the way they mount used to mount it in, they put this board here so that this can go straight down, bounce back up, to get an accurate reading. They have new ones now where I'm going to get rid of this and mount it on the inside so that it can actually work on an angle. So we'll put that in. Um, a lot of this stuff, I don't know a lot of this stuff, how to do a lot of this stuff. I'm just kind of winging it. So watching videos and asking questions and stuff. So here, um, I started sanding around here to see if that would be easy to get rid of. And it is. This is a through hull. This actually is the drain. There's uh, one here and one on the other side. So the cockpit drain. Uh, my drains are in the um, front of the cockpit, not the back. I'll show you that in a minute. But I gotta replace these and I'll show you why. Um, that's gonna go on again. Anyways, that's gonna be a, a chore. I'm not, I'll show you the problem I'm gonna run into in a moment. So, this through hole right here, this one, this is a plastic one, but this is for the, um, I don't know why they put it so low. I think they should have put it. Um, either back here or right back here or something, but anyways, that's to uh, for the bilge pump, manual bilge pump. I'll pump the boat if I ever had to. Anyways, here's a cockpit locker in here. And, whoops, we'll go over this. That wood right there, that mounting, that's just, that's soft wood that needs to go. That's, um, we'll put it in there before, just stuck it in there for now. It only had a, um, yeah, actually, I think, I think it's actually a um, two-stroke um, nine-horsepower motor that it used to have. But that needs to be replaced with some hardwood. That's no big deal. Don't worry about that one. Climb up my ladder here. This is that ladder they did a review on. Pretty cool. So far. Um, so let's stick with the through house. I'll show you what I mean. And this locker will show you. Oh, here's the cockpit drain. So, looking at the cockpit, there's the front of the boat. Look down here. My drains are here and here to drain out the cockpit. They're decent sized drains, too. But, one of the answers I have is if the cockpit ever got up to here at this point, it would just drain out to the engine compartment. And that literally drains right out of the boat. So, if the cockpit does get flooded, well, hopefully I'll be alright. Let's take a look in here and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Better idea. Okay, those are called gate valves. And this one right here is the one for the through hull for the deck to drain the deck. Uh, deck drain. And gate valves are not good. You might recognize these from something like the 70s where you shot off a garden hose. Um, you need to use ball valves. They're the ones that you took take a quarter turn like this quarter turn up and they're just uh better used plus this needs a seacock the base of this doesn't take much pressure to break it probably about 100 pounds this is even smaller and again this is below the water line actually i didn't mention that it is below the water line so if these ever snapped um below the water line basically you're you're technically sinking um 
So let's see, I got it. This one is the, I think this is the intake for the sink. Uh, so I'm going to re, I actually was just going to fill it in and use fresh water for the sink, but I don't know. I think I'm just going to throw a um, roll on there too. We'll see. Again, I'm not, I don't know how to fiberglass. I'm not that good with it. So everything looked good. I'm looking at this. I'm saying, wow, it's nice and smooth. It'll be easy to um, uh, flat surface. It'll be easy to mount the um, seacock on here. Here's the problem I didn't realize. <laughs> and this kind of sucks. This isn't the bottom of the fiberglass hull bottom of the boat. This is a liner. What I mean by that is a lot of boats are built with look inside here uh, a plastic liner like if we look up here that's that's plastic that comes down here but I didn't I knew inside it would have a um, it had a liner but I didn't think it extended back into the into the cockpit lockers that's my problem so I gotta figure out do I cut around the line here? That's hollow underneath there. Actually looks, sorry about that, the camera's out of the way. So here, I think they tightened this down, or must have, maybe they glued it under here. And that might be an option. We'll have to see when I get it off, if I can get it off. These things are on there, good, that's going to take a bit. It's going to be a job anyways so that's one of the jobs i need to do here's another one um, that needs to be fixed right there i'm actually going to do something else with this so for now i'm going to temporarily fix it sand it down epoxy maybe put some glass five glass over it uh let's see a few other things the boat needs oh there's the uh let's see i get the cape dory badge in there there you go that's the never it is 771 there's 845, I believe, that were made over almost a 10-year period. Um, this right here, there's a little bit of moisture under here, but not enough to make the deck soft. I mean, it's the deck's still solid, and I had I had surveyed, so basically I have to um, lift this up and reseal underneath. But I got to resand this anyways. You can see this is supposed to be non-stick. It's not non-stick, so crack right here a little crazy but I'll probably use some epoxy on there and then sand it down then I'm gonna get some um, I think it's called Kiwi grip put on there it's similar to what I think the person had it before me tried to do it over here it's this stuff right here similar to this and so instead of having this stuff here looks like it was Maybe molded as the deck was molded like that, but I'll put my own uh, grip on it. I think it's called Kiwi Grip. But you can see right here, it was painted over. Normally, this we lift it up so if you paint it over, you'd still have some of the uh, non skid. This doesn't. Anymore. Too old, but the boat's a really sturdy boat. Uh, Cape Doors are really, really well put together. Uh, so you see the front of the boat. Want to see up there so let's take a look down below so we got over here underneath all this junk is actually the sink you can see the valve right here for the sink right there uh, over here you probably put a stove I guess or something or whatever you want radio there uh, there's the windows they do open up the windows need to be I gotta pull the windows out and reseal them and put them back in resealed all three, all, uh, sorry, all six windows. So the boat does need quite a bit of, uh, not, well, I shouldn't say quite a bit. It's, it's a lot of work for me, I'll say. Because, uh, there you go, saying on again. I am not, uh, a, a boat building expert here, so. Usually I rely on, uh, advice from people who know what they're doing. And go that route. But this is beyond again beyond what I've ever done so but that's all right this boat uh, will be worth it because it's a really well-built boat anyways this tiny little area is designed for toilet um, outfit here 
whatever toy I put in there. I don't know, maybe nature's head or something, or I don't know yet. Um, over here is your kind of your wet locker here, and underneath here, I keep pointing the camera the wrong way. Sorry. Underneath here is the storage area underneath here, and you can see here's a deck liner. You can see the liner. Like that's what I'm talking about. When I see a liner. So a fiberglass liner on the inside that helps keep the stiffness of the boat. So it helps. It's part of the structure of the boat. Structural integrity of the boat. So you can actually see. Let's see if you can see where it, if it ends. Nope. That's a water tank right up there. So anyway. Let's keep going. Oh, I didn't do the side settings, so I'm sorry. Uh, let's see. So here is the side. So I just came down from here. You can put your legs under there. <laughs> I don't know if that can get a view under there. It is. That's actually the end of the board, the other side of the board. It's the one I have to actually fix. Um, so I got a lot of junk on here. Sorry about that. It does have a table. This part right here goes into the hole down uh, here. This actually needs a, I need to put a fitting in here. Um, right now it's just a hole. It's actually supposed to have a fitting over it. And the tabletop is right here. And under here, kind of hard to get to, but that's just supposed to be a, <laughs> that's supposed to be a cooler. But I don't think it's insulated enough. From what I read, they, re they didn't really insulate them very good. So if you put a block of ice in there, it's not going to last long. Um, that's something which is probably better for storage. Uh, over here, now we do have... You can see it lifting up over here. So some water damage. This is just a... Um, what is it? This is just a... Yeah, this is just a... Oh, that is a piece of wood. Alright, that's just a little piece of wood coming to laminate it. So this needs to be repaired. Underneath this side, this is the, let's see, where am I facing? So this would be the starboard uh, side. If we look underneath here, hard to see, but you can see it coming up a little bit right there. Right there. So this whole piece along there needs to be replaced. Again, not a big deal. Underneath here is, um, it's just, uh, storage. Either the cushions are in good condition. The person who used it before me used it for, they had, uh, one year, that after we, this boat was built, they bought it a year later. So, they've had it almost the whole life of the boat. Uh, these are new cushions. These are cushions that didn't get used. So, the people who had it before me used it for day sailing. Uh, we got the um, power there, some power and stuff again. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that yet. I don't know how good that is. Uh, I don't have. I have my battery that I'm going to use myself. So, anyways, moving up front again. I got my sails. This is the boom right here. Usually I find the boom with my head, that's when it's attached up top. Um, it's right up there, I got the top here. That could be stronger. Probably needs to be sealed again. Well, sealed period, just to make sure. Not sealed shot, sealed. Uh, so when you do shut it, the water doesn't get in. This right here, the bottom here, it got wet. The wood's all delaminated. I mean delaminated, I'll, I'm, yeah, delaminated. Anyways, it's no good. So I gotta redo the wood here on the um, V berth area. And again, V berth. I think I explained this in my other boat. It's not some place I would sleep. It's some place I would store stuff. I mean, if I was at a I don't know a mooring or something, it, you could I guess, but I would sleep in the seti. It'd be a little more comfortable than up here. I mean, don't get me wrong. I could fit. Um, but it's just not, I don't know, the boat, if you get any, any wave action going there, the first place to bounce, you got to bounce up and down on the front. If you're in the middle of the boat, it's going to be more comfortable. So anyways, that's my 1980 Cape Dory 25 and all the work that needs to be done with it. Oh, I was going to show you the bilge, but 
here's the uh here we go this is what this is what age does okay so anyways i go to pull up to look at the bills and i grab this and boom came right off um the wood's a little bit uh a little bit rotted okay so i just had to tap it a little bit with the um, rubber mallet here on one end just to loosen it up the board just needs to be uh, i got to sand sand this down a bit and then revarnish it uh it's just swelled up a little this area too but that's that's not water that's that's actually dry so this boat is um a little explanation of the boat it's not a uh a lot of boats you think of uh with a keel at the bottom you notice this boat has a long keel or what i call a modified full keel meaning it's not quite a full keel the front is kind of cut away in the front that's the way it's designed and the reason they do that it's um they actually made the mold of the hull and they put the lead so the lead goes well if you picture all this stuff up uh and no wood or anything here uh they put the lead inside the hull so it's called encapsulated and then they um put resin and fiberglass over it and that's that's it so the lead is down toward the bottom uh 1700 pounds of it and they glass it over so the the keel can't fall off or anything if the boat flipped over or something like that the keel doesn't fall out this way or something like that so anyways that's a bit i don't have much access to the build which is kind of um i definitely need more access to the build so i'm going to need to do something here which at some point i want to do anyways because you can see a little bit of damage here but it's a lot of work uh i think what needs to be done so i have a whole list the things that kind of really need to be done uh, um, but uh, it may be an old boat but it's real sturdy at the survey has said there's only you know basically it's just minor stuff in other words no major structural damage anywhere or or anything structural that needs to be replaced besides the um well, i don't know if that's structural but that's the valves which is a ah uh, that could sink the boat those valves are horrible anyways uh, i'm gonna wrap it up and Doing a more review as I go along. Um, I'll work with those through hulls. That's going to be a. No, I'm not looking forward to that. I have no idea how I'm going to get those things out, but I'll work at it.